When I finally let God take control of my life, I was a bit scary and I still am. Um, the reason why I want to share this with you in this video is because that when you allow God take over, he do amazing things to where it will scare the living daylights out of you. And that's letting God take over. That's letting the supernatural kick in. And have you ever had it to where you was so comfortable, which is where some of you probably are now, to where you're comfortable where you at. You're comfortable with your nine to five. You're comfortable with going to work, clocking in, because it's a routine for you. Your mind is so programmed into that routine to where you feel like you could do it for 20 years. You feel like you could do it for 30 years until you turn, what's the retirement age now? 67 to where you can go 67. And then after you hit 67, you could retire and spend the rest of your life with your family, possibly. But nobody knows the future. But I'm here to share with you that God has a plan for you. And his plan is supernatural. A lot of people are so well, so caught up in the natural to where the supernatural kicks in. It will scare you. It will make you afraid. And even thinking about it is being afraid. But I want to set you up to where your mind is a new identity, which is a mind of Christ. The Bible says that the old is gone. So you got to have that old mindset. And this is where you got to talk to God. You know, you got to talk to him. You got to ask for repentance. And then you got to ask God to guide you, ask God to use you. And that's what I'm getting at is that when you still have that old mind frame, the old mind frame is to tell you that if you don't get up and go to work, you're going to be out on the streets, right? The old mind frame is telling you that if you don't clock in on time, you'll get rolled up, right? The old mind frame is telling you that your bosses is on you. They on you. They telling you you have to do this. You have to do this quickly and and rapidly and, and professionally, right? The old mindset is also telling you that you have to climb the career ladder and the next five to 10 years, you become a assistant manager or a crew leader. And the next five years from that, you become a crew leader, senior, or a assistant manager or assistant supervisor or assistant shift leader. And the next, and that's 10 years going out of your life, guys, 10 years. I was in that trap. The reason why I'm sharing this experience with you is because I was in that trap. And I had that mind frame to where if I work here for seven years, I even had it in my old mindset. I didn't have the identity of Christ then. I thought I did, but I didn't because I didn't let the Holy Spirit guide me. The Holy Spirit is here to guide you and make you comfortable in your helper. That's why Jesus said, I will leave you the helper. And that's to help you. And you got to allow the helper to help you. And that's how you get into the new mindset. So when I was uh, trapped in that job to where I even had in my old mindset to where if I work seven years, uh, I can make an extra two dollars. Which is nothing nowadays. Nothing. And because every time I got a raise, this is how the system traps you. Every time I got a raise, I also got an, an increase in my health insurance and, and medical insurance. So it's like they took the, the dollar raise that I got or the 50 cent raise I got. It's like they took it right back through the medical, through the taxes, a new tax bracket. So it was all a scam and a system that's set up for you to work a slave job until you turn 67 and a lot of us don't make it i can't say a lot but i say some of us don't make it until 67 some of us don't even make it until in the 60s so my point is is to take action now allow the holy spirit to use you talk to god 
Have him to change your mindset. Your old identity is gone. If you are a new creation in Christ, the old is gone. That old mindset that you got to clock in on time. That old mindset that you got to, if you could work 10 years, you can get an extra dollar. That's that old mindset, that old frame, that generational curse. You got to break it. And after you break it, after you say, God, use me. After you say, God, I'm a new creation in Christ, that means you got to hang around new people that, you know, you got to say, oh, I remember my friend. She's she's making, a, you know, a good living off of her business and she's going on vacations and stuff. You got to hang around them more. You got to uh, ask them to help you with ideas. Now, when you when the back of your brain start firing those engines, those new engines begin to move. OK, and you're going to start and. All kinds of stuff is going to start popping up. Business ideas, YouTube ideas. Um, you're going to start following people on YouTube. And I want to challenge you, guys. Before I get off here, I want to challenge you. Go on YouTube and start searching your niche. Start searching what you like to do in YouTube. And once they start popping up, I want you to write down all the big YouTubers that you that's following into your category, into your niche that you feel like you can do. Write them down and I want you to study them. Study their titles. Study their hooks. What a hook is, study every word that they say or every phrase that they say within the first 30 seconds, okay? And then after you do that, you pick out which one and just start studying them. Study their background. Study their lighting. Study their microphone. That don't mean you have to get their microphone or their lighting. Just study what they say. Study how they sit. Study if they move their hands. Some people don't like uh, people moving their hands, but that's just me. I talk with my hands. You got to study that. After you study that, after you study that, pick what you feel that's suitable for you don't copy word for word just co just copy what they're saying and put a, a twist on it make it better that's what youtube wants you to do and that's uh, a challenge i want you to do today and also i want you to challenge yourself to talk to god tell him you're new if you don't have a relationship with god i recommend you get a relationship with god and I have videos that explains that as well. But right now, I if you have a relationship with God, I want you to talk to him. Say, God, I'm a new creation in Christ. I'm a new, you know, new. the old is gone. I'm a new identity. And once you claim that new identity and you start doing what I say in this video by typing in people that are in your niche that you feel like you can resonate with, things are going to start flowing that part of your brain is going to start sending off impulses to where things are going to pop up on your phone and ideas is just going to come to your mind. And then you follow those mind. I, you follow those ideas and let God take over. It's going to be a scary ride at first, but we are creatures that fears God. If you truly love God and he's truly in charge of your life, you will fear him. And that's why I get scared because I'm not comfortable. It's not meant for you to be comfortable. It's meant for you to go out there and walk in faith. So do that idea. I challenge you. Let me know in the comment section. Say, hey, I accept that challenge. And thank you. I'll have another video tomorrow for the next step. Thank you and God bless.